Hi, I'm Emma and I'm here to show you some tips and techniques of how to do beautiful makeup. In the description below are the links to all the products I use in this tutorial. Any questions, please leave me a comment below. Hi, welcome to my next tutorial, which is Supernatural with Annabelle. Um, it's just basically a, a fresh, um, bare skin kind of everyday look with a little bit of emphasis around the eye. So today I'm going to use my Les Pages um, by Chanel. It's a water fresh tint. It just, I like this because it gives a bare skin effect. Um, it balances out the skin tone. It's lightweight, it's hydrating, and it leaves a nice soft, smooth finish. So, and it comes with its own little brush, which is great. Um, because it's so sheer, I'm just going to use some Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. Um, this is also number two. Um, I like this because obviously it just gives that little bit of extra coverage where you need it, which is mainly down the T-zone. Um, I always use my um, Givenchy Mr. Light. Uh, I use it around the um, darker, darker areas like the eye contours, side of nostrils, chin. Um, it eliminates those dark, dark shadows and adds a little bit of radiance and highlight to the skin where you need it and throwing back away any of those dark shadows. So today I'm going to go along Annabelle's natural lash line and using a coffee pencil which I did put on the back of my hand and then using my angle brush um, I'll put the product onto the angle brush and then just go along the lash line carefully in between each lash just so that you get this beautiful kind of halo effect of uh, like a coffee brown. Next I'm going to use my Laura Mercier um, it's a crease, it's an eye crease brush. It's, this brush is slightly tapered off, so it's great for the socket line, for the more defined socket line. I have been using MAC 224, but you might find that this is easier for you. Um, so I'm just using my Taupe from Ultimate Taupe from Pat McGrath Labs palette. As you can see, I'm just showing you my brush there so you can see it. And I'm just gonna go back in and define it, just the socket line. I do this on most makeups, just as a general place to start. I'm just using a little thinner brush now and just going in again, just making it slightly more defined. Now this is my Burberry Eye Contour Pen. This is a, in natural, it's a flat matte kind of flesh colour. I'm just putting it on the lid just to highlight the lid so you've got the contrast of the two. I always like my um, duo stick, my highlighting stick from the Pat McGrath Labs. I just wanted to highlight the inner eye corners and the cupid's bow and then using it around the C. Obviously I've used this in quite a few of my tutorials. Um, I just think it's a great staple key product. So this just adds a little bit of light, reflective light to that area of the temples which is really attractive, it's really pretty to have that little flash of um, highlight and I'm going to blend it back with a little brush so so I'm just going to curl Annabelle's eyelashes um, I always curl uh, the eyelashes of models or, and even myself um, I just find it's a really key product to have in your makeup bag it really does open up the eyes and gives them a great shape Next I'm going to apply the mascara, this is a Burberry mascara in jet black, um, but I'm using these, this spoolie from um, West Barn Co, they're bamboo spoolies so they are recyclable um, and I'm putting it on at the root and twisting at the root and pulling it out to the end of the lashes um, just to give a really nice black coating on each lash. Um, I have to use spoolies now because of obviously hygiene reasons uh, for the models but for me if I was doing my own mascara obviously use it direct uh, a lot of the ones in the mascaras are amazing and made to help uh, the lashes you know extend so I'm just going to put a little bit under the lash uh, on the bottom lashes um, just gives them a nice little feathery feel I always find that this helps to make the makeup more defined. 
So I'm just going to go over Annabelle's skin. Um, this is uh, my concealer brush with a little bit of Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage on it. Um, just just tidying up around the T-zone, seeing if there's any little dusts of eyeshadow, getting rid of anything like that. Um, next I'm going to use my Cold Pencil, which is uh, a Dior Beige Cold Pencil. I'm going along the waterline. I find this really opens up the eyes and make them look, makes them look really fresh, especially if you've got a little bit of pink eye on the waterline um, helps to eradicate that. My NARS um, blusher, it's a multiple stick. Apparently you can use it on your cheeks and lips and wherever you want. But I'm using it with my fiber optic brush. The fiber optic brush is really great because it's not as dense as other brushes. And so I find that it really helps me to apply the blusher um, and it, it glides on and blends in really well. Again, just giving a little tidy up. Bit is obviously the powder. I'm using a, it's Molly powder. It's um, it's undetectable on the skin. It's very sheer lightweight. And it just diffuses looks of pore, the look of the pores and fi any fine lines. Um, it's like glass, it looks like glass. But uh, it's just a very clear, translucent, oh, clear powder. This is my eyebrow brush. And what I'm gonna to do today is I'm just gonna go through with some Anastasia um, brow powder. Uh, I'm using a fan brush, a little fan brush. And just going through and just getting a little bit more definition. I don't normally do this with Annabelle, but today I thought for this look, we could just maybe add a little bit. This is my Dr. Paw Paw. It's like a tinted moisturizer. It's a, it's a peachy kind of apricot color and it gives the lips, it's very hydrating, nourishing, and then gives it that little bit of color. So very natural look. So I'm just finishing off with the Pat McGrath Labs Highlighter Duo Stick. I'm just putting a tiny bit on the center of Annabelle's eyelid just to reflect some light back to that area. And that's the look. So tune in next week where I'm gonna show you how to transition this makeup from day to night in a few easy steps. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and comment. Um, new videos are going to be uploaded onto my channel every Saturday. So please subscribe.